I want you to know that you matter. Yep, I said it. You. Not anybody else, but you. You matter. When you wake up in the morning, I want you to know what you do matters. When you brush your teeth in the morning, I want you to know that you matter. When you iron your clothes in the morning and you don't feel like getting out of bed, I want you to know that you matter. I want you to understand that you matter because what you do could change somebody's life and the trajectory of what they can overcome. I want you to know that you matter because nobody ever told me that I mattered. I want you to know that you matter because you got people that's dependent on you right now. You may have some kids. You may have some younger siblings. You may have mom, dad, grandma, auntie. There's somebody out there that's dependent on you. So I want you to know that you matter. But you have the ability. And you have the tools and the power and all of the amazing characteristics that are on the inside of you are ready to come out and come to fruition and ready to see you walking your purpose and who you were called to be and what you were called to do. Because you and I are the aspirin to somebody's headache. How long are you going to let them suffer? So I want you to know that you matter. Because I remember my 8th grade teacher told me I'll never be anything in life. I'll either be dead or in jail. So I want you to know that you matter. I'm telling you that I'm dependent on you because you matter. And nobody can tell you what you can't overcome if they've never been through it. So I want you to trust the process I want you to stay ten toes down I want you to understand that you can prove them wrong Because I want you to know You matter So I need you to stay ten toes down When all you have is you All it takes is an ounce to believe in yourself All it takes is a Ounce To have the ability To recreate history And make it happen Because you can't dream all day With no action So I'm challenging you With staying ten toes down Because you may feel like Nobody supports you because they told you that it would never happen. I need you to stay 10 toes down because you have the ability to do it. You can turn your dreams into a reality. You have the ability to leave a legacy. And I need you to stay 10 toes down because I'm dependent on you to turn your dreams into a reality. I need you to stay 10 toes down when nobody is clapping for you. I need you to stay 10 toes down when your back is against the wall and you have no choice and no opportunity. So you got to come out swinging because I support you. I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering for you from the sideline. I'm your biggest fan. I'm telling you that you can do it. I'm telling you that you're phenomenal and amazing and that you have the ability to recreate history because I know that you can stay 10 toes down. You know, one day I asked God, I said, why are you taking me through troubled waters? Because he told me my enemies can't swim. So I need you to stay 10 toes down when nobody is cheering for you. The elevator is broke and you got to take the stairs to be successful. So I need you to stay 10 toes down because if it was easy, <laughs> we know everybody would do it. 
I remember when my dad would call my grandmother and my grandmother would tell me that my father was coming to get me and I would be so excited and all the emotions and all the the feelings that I had and he never came. I stood at the screen door for two or three days waiting on my father, hoping and wishing that he would come and he never came. So I told myself as I got older that one day I'm going to have kids and my kids will never know what it feels like not to have their father. Because I know what it feels like. I know what the heartbreak feel like. I know the emotions and the feelings and the thoughts and everything that you're going through. So I want you to know that you matter. I remember when my eighth grade teacher told me I'd never be anything. I remember when I got molested at 10 years old by my babysitter. I remember when my mom would text me and she would text me at two or three o'clock in the morning and tell me they putting a taser to my head. Do you feel that? But I still had to understand on what my calling and what my purpose was because I had to understand that I mattered. So what am I telling you? I'm telling you that even though you're facing adversity right now, even though there's something that's bothering you and there's something that's harming you right now in this very moment, I'm telling you that you matter and that I love you. Because the things that you are going through right now, the adversity that you're facing right now, the hurdles that you have to climb, the mountain that is that you need to move can only be moved by you. So I want you to know that you matter. I want you to know that I love you. I'm here to support you. I'm cheering you on. Every time you get ready to quit, I want you to think of why you started in the first place. Because you were created for greatness. You can achieve greatness. You can achieve and reach your destiny and go to a level that no one ever imagined that you could go to. What does it look like? Can you make it? Can you do it? Not when everybody is standing and clapping for you and cheering for you, but when nobody is around. Can you keep going? When they doubted you and didn't support you in what you believed in, that was the chance and the opportunity for you to prove them wrong. That was the chance and the opportunity to say, yeah, I can do this. Why am I telling you that? Because I understand how you feel I understand your emotion I understand what it feels like to be in last place but I want you to know that you got to keep running the race and never give up because when you give up you fail when you give up you quit and you'll never go back So I'm trying to get you to understand that going and moving forward in the process, even though that you face opposition and adversity, you have to keep going because you and I are the aspirin to somebody's headache. How long will you let them suffer? Because you got to keep moving forward. Because you have to help somebody reach their destiny. You have to help somebody get to the next level in life. So I'm asking you, how far are you willing to go? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up in order to gain something greater? Why be normal when you can be extraordinary?